Hey gamers, it's Wintermute here from Grind This Game. And I'm going to try out uh, this new game called Oxygen Not Included. I've tried it out a little bit before, um, but I'm going to start from, from scratch with a new the new uh, load, I guess, or new new game. So I'm going to generate a new world here. Superheating the gases, vacuuming out the vacuums. So this game's like a... Um, you start in the middle of an asteroid and you get three replicants which are kind of like your characters as you can see here learning is a pretty important maybe overpowered skill at the moment because it allows you to it basically boost the speed at which all these other skills are learned um, so you've got kind of your basic attributes athletics for like running around and stuff digging and then each character has some traits like uncultured here uh, the decor expectations like the how, how nice the base looks is lower this is a really important one divers lungs it means they'll breathe less and like the whole the whole main concept of this game is like to always have enough oxygen around or your your little replicants will die. Uh, loud sleeper. These red ones are negative kind of traits. Uh, you probably don't want this one because if you put this person in this person's bed next to another character's bed, they're gonna wake them up in the middle of the night, and that's not gonna be good. So, but we can shuffle through them and try to get some randomize these attributes. Okay, so this, this looks decent. We got a digger with learning. We got a constructor construction skill plus learning, and we've got athletics and learning. So this one, Trav can be kind of our power generator. Nicola can be our builder, and Bubbles can be our digger. And name our colony. Let's let's get a good oh dorky planet, <laughs> Dreamland. I like this one. So. Alert! Your crew has awoken mouths beneath the surface of an unfamiliar terrestrial body. Oddly, they have no recollection of how they got there. It might be best to start digging. So here we are in the middle of some terrestrial body, probably an asteroid of some sort. We got our three characters. And let's just pause as we kind of take a look around. So oxalite, some ore here that, that actually emits oxygen. But it eventually degrades, I think. Like it'll emit oxygen for a while and eventually disappear. So it's a good kind of starting thing. We don't want to mine this, but we may want to like mine around it so we can get oxygen released. Got sandstone, our printing pod, which is where new replicants come out of and where these guys came out of. Got a ration box. We start with 20,000 kilocalories. Got some algae, sand, Sands a filtration medium. Algae, I think, is used later for oxygen production. We got some dirt, some copper ore. We got some plants going on in here, mealwood, and which is some food, coal. And if we zoom out here, what do we got? We got some pockets of water down here. More some oxygen here, water. A vacuum, and that's about all we can see here. Oh, we got some abyssalite, granite, igneous rock, and we got some overlays which are handy. So F1 is our oxygen overlay. So these are really good pockets of oxygen, high concentration, and then sufficient, low, and unbreathable is this over here, carbon dioxide. So oxygen generally goes goes to the floats to the top and CO2 drops to the bottom. So we'll kind of plan our base around that kind of concept. So the second overlay is power. We don't have any power yet. Temperature overlay. So it's temperate. All this green is kind of good medium temperature. Over to the right here is a bit colder. Right here is hot. Well, scorching, I guess. Can't really tell what's to the left here yet. We got 
thermal comfort overlay, uh, light overlay, liquid, we don't have any plumbing yet, so gas plumbing, don't have any of that yet. Decor overlay, this is like how fancy the, how much decoration we have here. And priority overlay. And then up here we got jobs, so we can, if you've ever played RimWorld, this, is, this menu is very similar. We can kind of set priorities, or at least tell people which jobs they should do. So like if we've got a, let's say a good, Trav's good at athletics, so we could take the other two off power generation, for instance. And this will re become really important later on as we get more replicants, because we want people who are good at things to focus on those things and not kind of, we basically want specialization so that people get better at certain skills. So kind of the first order of business, uh, oh, just some more of the UI here, got stress levels up here. So we got 4% stress levels for each of our three colonists or replicants. And I'll just go through. So we need some toilets right away because these guys eventually will have to go to the bathroom. So their bladder's at 3%, so they're going to make it for a while, but once this gets to 100%, I think they have to go to the bathroom and they'll need a place for that. Otherwise, it just kind of will make a mess on the floor, which is not what we want. So maybe if we kind of dig into this area here and dig to the right to dig to the left, get some toilets set up and maybe get some beds set up. So to dig, we can use the mouse and just use this or we can hit G kind of dig out some area probably just gonna dig out I'm gonna make them four high because generally that's good enough to fit all the kind of machines and things we can build later on so like a four high area and then maybe we'll put some platforms in between the other two or between the floors Some algae going on, and we can probably dig out some of these plants as well. Leave this one because we can harvest this three times. So let's set them go going about their digging. To kind of move around the map, it's the standard W A S D. Mouse wheel zooming in, zooming out. And you can speed things up uh, by using tab. But I'll probably just play at the slow speed for now. Maybe speed it up for this mining. Well, so they're complaining about he's like having trouble breathing because I think there's a bunch of carbon dioxide here. So we'll kind of come back to the oxygen rich area and breathe and then go back to work in this area. So we can, under base, we can build uh, some tile. And we, got, we can build that out of sandstone. So I'll just extend the tile along here a little bit. Actually, maybe I'll dig a bit deeper first before we do that. Actually, it'll, maybe I'll just, maybe I'll build it along this way. Actually, if you build some tile, they'll automatically... Whoa. <laughs> These guys are stuck. I've never seen this before. Wow. <laughs> that is funny. So hopefully we can deconstruct <laughs> these things we just built. Wow. Never seen this before. Hopefully... Uh, Trav here can come rescue them. <laughs> uh, make this priority nine so that they come over and he comes over and digs them out right away. I've never seen this before. There they go. They've escaped. That's kind of funny. And now they're stuck here. Oh, oh no, he can get up. Okay. Let's just replace this tile. Hopefully they don't get stuck again. 
Okay, let's continue digging out here. And we can just put some tile along here. Oops. Where are these guys going? Oh, they're getting some food. So I'm going to try to put a toilet, which is under plumbing an outhouse right over here I guess for now so they have a place to go to the bathroom what's the temperature like here so the temperature starts to get warm over here so we'll just we'll try to stay in this sweet spot of green for now which kind of goes up and down don't want to go too far we don't want to get too warm and we probably also want some beds, which is under furniture, these cots. Gives them a place to sleep at night. So we'll build three of those. Because it's almost night time. As you can see in the top left here, this cycle, once it gets to the red, I guess it's night time. Slow things down a bit. We also have um, storage lockers, compactors, sorry which uh, can hold just about anything I think. So we'll build one of those and then you can assign what can go in it. Oh, Bubbles fell asleep just because she's narcoleptic. She'll fall asleep. Oh, combat. So what do we got here? We got this hatch, this little monster here. So we'll attack him. Oh, he's dead. Now these outhouses, they have 15 visits. And then they need to be emptied. So what I like to do is uh, build two of them. So that if one is, well, well, one's being emptied, it's kind out of out of order. And if another one, uh, one, another replicant has to go to the bathroom while it's being emptied, they'll just go on the floor. So we want to build a second one of these. And these might not be the permanent places for them, but for now I'll just, just kind of stick them here. And then you have to tell, once you've got the storage compactor built, you have to tell it what you want. And I'll just say, just put everything in there for now. And they'll pick up all this stuff on the floor and stick it in the compactor. Let's get some more oxygen up here. Probably build another level up here soon. But I have a feeling they're going to go to sleep. Yeah, it's night time, so they're going to go to bed. And they got a decent amount of oxygen here. Eventually you want your bedrooms to be near the top of the base though, because the oxygen will naturally go to the top and the CO2 will fall. But for now, this is kind of temporary. We'll just and then temperature looks good. So maybe we'll build down first for now. And speed things up so we get through the night. Okay, these guys will go and kind of clean things up. Could probably extend this platform along here. They have the ability to kind of jump down two tiles. So as long as there's two tiles worth of space they can jump down. And what's the temperature like over here? Oh, it starts to get cold right here, so we kind of want to stay within these bounds for now. And maybe we want to put kind of a ladder near the center of the base. So under base, we got ladder. Maybe build a ladder down here. But we can dig out uh, kind of another four layers here. kind of lucked out with three water pockets here because water is pretty important Come, coming later oh so here they go with the bathroom they both have to go at once hopefully uh, Nicola can hold it until Bubbles is done in here it's pretty cute little animations oh she looks very satisfied and they're eating as well and we're gonna want to put up, uh, make some power and we use this manual generator, which is like a little hamster wheel for them. 
and we can stick that maybe here for now and we want a little battery beside it and we're going to need some wire between it so the wire, as long as it goes to this plug and reaches the other plug, they'll be connected so now that we've got a wheel and a battery um, there's this setting, if you click the wheel the manual generator, there's this battery threshold, so they'll get on the wheel and run on it until the battery is 50% and then they'll stop and then we'll we'll need power later on to do things like uh, this research station it'll require power, which we'll build pretty soon we'll probably build a tile platform along here so even though it says 50%, I don't know if it's a bug, but the battery's already full now and he's still kind of running, so I'm not really sure what's up with that. So we found a bit of food, and we started off with 20,000, so we're okay for food at the moment. And over here in these menus, you can see kind of all the stuff you've got. Soil, edible, so these are food sources, seeds. I usually just leave them all open so I can kind of see what's going on. Oh, they're complaining about the temperature, even though it looks fine here. Hmm. Oh, there's some critters in here. Gotta kill them. Get them! Okay. When they kill those guys, they leave behind meat, so it's a little bit more food. So our calories just went up to 25,000 here can build some more platforms up here and maybe build a research station which is going to allow us to do all our research so under stations, research station I'll just stick it beside the, the power wheel for now I've been really having fun with this game, it's really it's really fun it can get a little bit uh, I mean, until you learn things, it can be frustrating, but it's uh, it's pretty fun. And once you learn a few things, it's a little bit easier to deal with. So our research center is done, but we need to hook up power. So if we go under power, electrical wire, kind of drag this over here and plug it in. They'll plug it in, and you can set priorities. So if I click on this electrical wire. It's got a priority 5, so they'll kind of, if we set it to 9, they'll come over right away and build it, in theory. There they go, okay. So now that it's hooked up with the power, we go into this research panel. You can use the mouse or you can just hit R and it'll open the research panel. There's a whole bunch of stuff in here. I kind of just work my way top left and do the first kind of column and then do some of this second column. So we'll start with farming so we can get the algae ter terrarium going, terrarium, which will recycle CO2 and oxygen, which is really important. A compost, which we'll need for what's going to come out of the toilet. Uh, turns polluted dirt, which is in the toilet, into fertilizer. And then this planter box, which we can grow food in. So let's start the research there and one of these guys will oh, I forgot to uh, so you can you pick what you want under here but then you actually have to say click novice research and either fabricate one or you could just do this continuously so it'll just keep researching kind of forever and then one of them well depending on how the priority of the research yeah depending on the priority Okay, so the nickel is researching. Let's see what nickel has got in terms of... Researching uses the uh, learning ability, and nickel is does have the highest learning, so it's good that he's doing it. So uh, in day one, you kind of want to get the three beds made and the toilet made, and second day, or first day if you can do it, power wheel, battery, and research station. And we may want to put a terrarium down here to kind of soak up some of the CO2 and that's under the oxygen menu 
We haven't researched it yet, but once we've researched it, we can do it. And then there's also an algae deoxidizer, which uh, converts algae into oxygen, but it requires um, power. And we may use this later, but it uses algae really quickly, so we got to be careful how and when we use it. Could probably extend our ladder up here as well. So they got to do their eating first. So we got 12 visits left at the outhouse before we have to empty it. So I'm actually going to build a second one. So we got a bit of a backup. And maybe I'll I'll just put it here for now, or maybe down here. You kind of want to keep the toilets and the compost kind of away from everything else because they stink. And who wants a stinky base? don't really want your bathroom right here, but we can move things around as we go. So yeah, when this gets full, when all the visits are used up, uh, it'll go out of order and they'll kind of plunger it. But if someone has to go to the bathroom during that clean out phase, then it's not good because they'll just go to the bathroom on the floor, which we don't want. Nicola fell asleep on the ladder here. It's kind of funny. Oh. Pause it for a second here. This thing over here, this geyser, this is um, this is really useful because this kind of generates either water or steam. And this is usually these are kind of far away from the starting point, but we're lucky we got one really close to the base. And this is kind of like an infinite source of water, uh, which is really really important. I mean, you use up water fairly quickly in this game, and you you can recycle it, but having one of these close by is really going to be handy. If it's just steam coming out, you got to kind of let it cool. And we could actually let it cool. This is cold down here, so we could maybe make a little bit of a um, tunnel into this cold area and let it kind of cool down. And maybe build a reservoir so that the steam can cool, come into the reservoir, cool down, and just fill up a pool of water for us. And then eventually it'll be kind of this infinite source, because water or steam keeps coming f and flowing out of this, which is really handy. So that's good. And then we got some other stuff here. We got slime, which on its own kind of generates polluted oxygen, which is not good, but we can convert slime into algae. And you'll realize pretty soon that algae is super important. Uh, it's needed to produce oxygen. And you don't want to run out of it. So we can probably build a second platform along here. I like to build things in levels of, like I said, four high. We can extend along here too. And all this stuff on the ground will eventually like lead to their stress. As you can see with the decor overlay, this is all red here. They don't like a mess, so you want to have enough storage compactors. And I'll build a few here. And you can set priorities on these as well, so that they, you know, they'll come and clean up. If you set a priority higher, like maybe six, they'll do the cleanup before they do anything else. Assuming everything else is a five, because we don't want them to get stressed out. If they get stressed out, depending on their attributes, they'll either either kind of throw up, and they throw up a lot of polluted water, um, which is not good. And polluted water can kind of drip down and just get all over the place. Our research is finished, so let's go in and get the next one queued up. Let's do... Probably won't use gas piping for a bit. Let's do interior decor next. And it's unlocked some things, so now we can make this algae terrarium. So let's put one down here by the CO2, because it's getting pretty pretty, if you look at the overlay F1, it's lots of CO2 is building up here. We've got lots of nice bright oxygen here, so we're okay here. And you want a rich oxygen area around the beds, because when they sleep at night, they generate CO2 and you don't want it to build up. Otherwise their sleep gets interrupted and they have to get out of bed, and go to a place that has oxygen and then breathe it. So you want, you want to keep this area oxygen rich. 
And eventually you do that by kind of putting an airlock around their bedroom, which I'll probably do later. Let's set the priority of this built. You can set the priority of the storage compactor being built to a six, and then they'll they'll build these first. Okay, this flashing portal printing pod means that we can get another replicant in our in our team. And when I first started playing this game, I kind of just let everyone through, but you don't have to. So if you go in here, choose a duplicate. Oh, I've been calling them replicants. They're duplicates. And we can choose a new one. We don't have that randomized menu anymore, so we kind of this is this is it. We can't really decide on anything else. Well, we can choose one of these three, but we can't kind of randomize them, or we can reject them all. No one here is really like sticking out. I mean, divers' lungs is nice, but they don't really have any learning. So I'm going to do reject all. The other thing is that you want your food production to be set up and kind of stabilized before you grow your colony too big. So I'll just do reject all. And then in about 1800 seconds we'll get a chance to get another duplicate. Let's see who's set to... who's the most, ath most athletic here. So power generation. We probably always want Trav running on the wheel, but maybe not. I wonder why their athletics is negative too. Let's see. Let's click on bubbles. Oh, they have light wounds. So yeah, that's that's bringing their athletics down. And there's a way to cure that under medicine, medical cot. So let's build a medical cot over here. And they won't be able to build this here until we dug it out, so let's dig out four more layers. And these are built so we can just set them to all. And I might set them to priority six just so they get some cleanup done. So they'll clean up all this stuff before they do anything else. But it's bedtime. Yeah, it's tempting to just bring in like every replicant, duplicate, sorry, that comes in. But I found like it's easier just to handle what you have and then once you've got sufficient food and oxygen, then you can start bringing people in. So building lacks resources. So this terrarium down here, it needs some water. So I kind of need to dig down into this water, either here or here or here. Since we already got a ladder going here, let's extend the ladder down here. Oh, we can't. we got to dig that out first. And then we don't want to get under the water. We kind of want to just get to the top of it here. So maybe dig out one, two, three, four. For now, build a platform along here. And then they might be able to reach this here. Let's just see. After they do all the cleanup. And they'll level up, their, someone just leveled up here, skill increase. So as they kind of do work that's applicable to their skill, they'll, they'll level up. Running on the wheel really helps level their athletics fast. Probably don't need to necessarily clean everything up right away, but tidy base is a nice base. We also unlocked uh, refinement, so compost. We want, we want and need a compost, so Let's stick the compost, two of them, so we have a backup over here by the other outhouse, and set them priority nine so they get built right away, because this one's already kind of half full. So the dirty, this fills up with poop, and then they put the poop in the compost, and they have to turn it over, and it eventually turns into fertilizer. And I, I kind of actually want this done before all the cleaning, so let's prioritize this to seven. So they get this going. Because we want them to get down to this water so they can get this algae terrarium, terrarium going. You can actually, when you go to, you can click G, hit G, and then you can set it to 9 and then select this thing you want and it'll kind of preset it for you. So they probably won't be able to reach Actually, Trav, don't go up there. Let's make this nine. We don't want him falling down in there because that would that would suck. 
You might do it anyway though. But so we can build a build a ladder down into here and then they'll be able to get to the water. Set the priority nine. So now they should be able to access that water. But they're doing they're cleaning up all this crud first. You want to make sure their stress doesn't go up too high. Right now their stress is really low, so it's fine, but and the way to relieve stress, uh, you can build a massage table and then assign them to the massage table and they'll get a little massage. So I'll make one over here. So we've got a bunch of CO2 kind of building up here. Which is not good, but it's still nice and oxygen rich but by their bedroom. So, Okay, so now they added water to this and algae to this. Actually, let's set this to a 9 as well, so they're always refilling this. Or maybe an 8. And this will start making oxygen, so you can kind of see it'll recycle the CO2 and turn it into oxygen, which is what we want. Let's get this massage table built as well. well everyone's back down to zero, so we won't, we won't need to use it yet. But we'll have it ready for when we need it. But we did have some injuries from fighting the, those critters, so Bubbles has some light wounds, so we can assign her medical cot and after she takes a dump, she'll go in this cot and her health will regenerate quickly. So 97, 98 and then that negative 3 athletics will go away I think once she's healed. Yeah, so she's okay again. How's it, what's the temperature like here? So I can probably extend this platform right over to the edge here. Okay, so we got our research done. We got interior decor done. So we can build canvases, lighting, a mess table, which is where they eat. Uh, it'll reduce stress while they eat if you get them eating at tables. A pneumatic door and a sculpture, sculpting block, which is another decor item. So let's get a uh, liquid piping going next. And we can build some of that decor. So if we put a blank canvas, we can put it over their beds. Let's set those to priority, set one of them to priority nine so we get one built so we can see what it's like. So first they build the canvas and then someone who has some artistic skill will actually do a painting and I don't know if we have any artists. Art zero, zero, zero. So they're going to be terrible at art. Travis, take a little nap here. Oh, yeah. Oh no, Nicola was. <laughs> the blank canvas itself actually has some decor to it. So even if you're not, even if you don't have a painting on it, if you click it, you'll see uh, decor 5.5. So even before you paint it, it has some decor. And you can see it under here, kind of. It's not red. Total decor 5. But then you actually have to set a painting. So let's set it priority 9 for painting. And someone will come. There he goes. Nicola will try. Their skill is terrible, so they're probably going to make really awful paintings. But it's better than nothing at this point. And it, oh, they'll get faster as well as the skill goes up. I don't know if Nicola will get a, a level out of this. Let's see, Nicola, uh, art zero. Nope, he did not level up. And he made a crude painting. But it has a decor of 11, which is not great, but it's better than zero. And this outhouse, I'm going to empty it early. So if we do clean toilet, it marks it out of order. And someone will come along and plunder it. And they're not very happy about it when they do it. And it takes a while. But then they'll move the dirty dirt over here into the compost. Once they're done. And they're sleeping. We can also build their mess tables. Oh, you can kind of see their their little CO2 breaths at night when they're sleeping. I love the art style in this game. It's really... If you've ever played uh, Don't Starve, it's by the same developers. It's pretty cute. So now this this is empty and all the polluted dirt is over here in the compost. We'll set this up slightly in priority as well just so that it gets flipped. Oh, and they're eating on the floor here and that's not good, so we want them some mess tables. And we can put those... Uh, Maybe over here for now. That's under furniture, mess table. 
Oh, that's massage table. We want mess table. Okay. So we'll leave some room for some more beds. One, two, and put some mess tables here. Set them priority seven just so they get done. Then when they need to eat, they'll come over here and they'll get de-stressed as they eat. Now it's complaining in the top left here, insufficient oxygen generation. Uh, and you can look at these reports, top right. So if we go to the previous day, we added 18.8 kilograms of oxygen, but we used 176. So we definitely need more things to generate oxygen. And they include um, the algae terrarium and the algae deox deoxidizer, and there's other stuff that comes later that can make oxygen. So we probably want another of these terrariums over by our bedroom. So let's build one right here. Set it to priority nine. And we I'm not sure if we can reach up here or not. We can try. No, unreachable. So it's too high for them to build here. So we'd have to build a ladder or go in from the top here. Oh, we got another duplicate. So let's see what we got. This one has some creativity, decent digging. Bottomless stomach you don't want because they're going to eat a bunch of your food. Uh, I don't really like anyone here. Digging's good, but we want someone with high learning and not a really bad trait, so let's reject all. This sand will fall down. If like if you mine underneath the sand, it'll fall down to the bottom level. So you kind of have to re-mine it after it falls down. Did we finish our other research? Oh, we did. Okay. So liquid pump piping's done. We can now build a liquid pump, a uh, liquid vent, so which is kind of like an outlet, the piping, and a bridge, which is used for to like cross piping over piping. And let's do power regulation next. And since this is producing oxygen, what I'm going to do is we can actually let's build a platform along here and mine out this. There's a vacuum up here. We don't want to open this up necessarily yet. We can also build planter boxes, which is going to generate our food. Could probably build those down here. Let's build one for now. Priority nine. And we have two, di two types of seeds here. Mealwood, which we'll plant for now, and then blossom seed. Blossom seed needs a uh, needs to be in a tight temperature range, negative 23 to 23, and temperature here is it's actually 19, so we could grow it here. But I'm going to grow mealwood seed first, which has a little bit. It can it's from 10 to 30, so it's a little bit more tolerable to the temperature. So now it'll start growing. And the thing about mealwood is when you harvest it the first time you'll get a seed or you you won't get a seed back but the third harvest um, basically you need to harvest it unplanted at the second planting I think to get a seed back so that you can keep it renewed otherwise eventually you'll run out of seeds which is not good. A lot of CO2 here, but this terrarium will eventually get through it. There they are, eating away. They're nice new little tables. Back to work. So I'm building this out so that we get a nice... This acts as a floor and a ceiling. So I kind of want to build an airlock here so that their bedrooms are always nicely oxygenated. So we can do that with a uh, manual airlock. Stick it right here and then two tiles here. Priority nine. But not the terrarium, set that to eight. Oh, they're walking over this stuff here, so we gotta dig this sand out. So what this airlock will do is kinda keep everything in here. A few things will escape while it's open, but generally it'll keep what's in here in here. And since we have a terrarium in here, uh, getting rid of the CO2, 
this should stay oxygen rich so when they they'll be able to have a night nice sleep I don't know what's going on with Nikola here he looks very <laughs> I don't know what was up with that and since it's kind of cooler over here we can probably get away with building the blossom seeds because they need to be in a cooler area oh it used granite for this I think so you gotta be careful when you build new things like if I'm gonna go build this some new tile now that we've got some sandstone and granite I think it autumn it, by default it'll use the the better material so you gotta make sure you selected the right thing so I kinda want everything out of sandstone for now because I think granite heats up area actually well, I guess we'll I guess we'll find out if it warms up the area or not but we can build another planter box right here where it's a bit cooler and then try some blossom seed here okay so we can put blossom seed in here see if it grows there's also this microbe musher which will will build it lets us make food as well uh, let's put that maybe off to the side here because it generates heat and it has a low decor so we don't want it like in this massage area okay so oh the other thing about that other type of plant the blossom one is it needs a lot of fertilizer which we'll get from these outhouses eventually but batteries also get hot as you can see here so does the research basically all machinery vents off heat so if you need to keep an area cool don't build a bunch of machines near it so how's their oxygen not great in here I mean if we had like five people in here we'd probably run out of oxygen in the night oh, they made it through the night that's good Oh, no research. Let's get the next thing going. So let's do gas piping next. So now that's hooked up for power, we can, there's a couple of things we can make here. A mush bar, which uses dirt and water. Uh, not very palatable food. <laughs> uh, and it can cause diarrhea, so it's not great. Um, but we can also make lice loaf. It uses meal lice, which comes from these... Uh, mealwood plants so if we kind of need emergency food we can make this mush bar but until then we can probably make lice loaf and we're okay for food at the moment so we'll probably just wait until our food grows it's nice that this bristle blossom is actually growing here I guess it's cool enough that's nice this is kind of a higher quality food and when they eat the fruit from this it returns the seeds right away so there's no seed problem Okay, our research is done. So we've done all the basic research on the left here. And these second tier or whatever, it's going to require some novice research as well as uh, intermediate. So we can do the novice part of which we do next. I guess let's do fine dining next. So we can get a fridge going. And this toilet it only has four visits remaining, so I'm going to force clean. So, and this one's got 11. That we're, that way we're kind of in control when it gets done versus having the chance of them both filling up and having a disaster. Because like if they had an accident here, it would kind of splash over here and get in the water supply. We don't want that. In fact, you can build things like this, make one tile like here, so that if some bad liquid, let's say they peed on the ground here, as long as there's a little tile here, it won't dr it won't drain into our water. So this is kind of a nice protection <laughs> against getting pee in our water. It'll pool up here instead, and then we can mop it up here. You can put these little guards at the end of all of your hallways, so you don't get this cascading rolling effect. But as long as it doesn't go in our water supply, it's it'll probably be good. And I'm probably going to wrap up this episode because uh, I'm losing my voice and this video is probably getting pretty long. And next next episode we'll kind of get into some more of the plumbing and maybe get some, get some other stuff going on. 
So uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Uh, I'll probably be doing these daily um, just because I'm really into this game uh, for the next week or so. So if you subscribe and hit the little there's a little notification button to get notified when I release new episodes. That'd be awesome. And uh, thanks for watching.